Following the resolution of the Texas synagogue hostage standoff, details of the terrorist timeline have begun to emerge. Here's what we know so far. Citing unnamed sources, the BBC reports Malik Faisal Akram, a 44-year-old from Blackburn, England, flew to New York's JFK International Airport on December 29th. Akram made his way to Dallas, where he bought a handgun and stayed at at least two homeless shelters, according to the Dallas Morning News. At around 11 a.m. on Saturday, January 15th, he entered the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue in the suburb of Colleyville. Rabbi Charlie Citron Walker told CBS he welcomed Akram into the synagogue and made him a cup of tea. When the rabbi turned to face Jerusalem as he prayed, Akram produced a gun. He took the rabbi and three others hostage and demanded the release of Islamist prisoner Afia Sadiq. One hostage was freed at around 5 p.m. At around 9 p.m., the rabbi threw a chair at Akram and escaped with the other hostages. Akram chased them before retreating back inside after spotting the FBI's elite hostage rescue team. The FBI then breached the synagogue and Akram was shot and killed. None of the hostages were injured. Akram's teenage sons were subsequently arrested in Manchester by British police in connection with the siege. Akram's brother, Gulbar, said in a statement on Facebook that Akram was suffering from mental health issues. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.